Welcome back everybody, my name is Gamma Trap, one word, and this is my free metal tutorial series. I cover a different type and texture of metal in each video, so make sure to watch them all for the most comprehensive understanding of the topic. Also, leaving a comment and then watching the next video in the line really tells YouTube that I'm doing a good job. So if you want to support my channel and encourage me to keep making these videos, that's one great way to do it. So thank you so much and let's get started. All right, so in this video, we're going to be handling steel or more brushed metal. And now you could use this for something like brass or any of the other kind of like colors of metal that we can get, or even a fantasy color of metal and for that, and for that, for that matter. This is going to be more like smooth metal, more shiny, more not, not as shiny as say chrome or I don't know, like polished silver or a mirror, uh, but like a good midway, like pretty shiny. Like most armor in fantasy settings or stylized pieces of metal will be probably like steel, like this, or at least, you know, the, the good guy, <laughs> you know, like armor. Uh, a lot of bad guy armor is usually like more like, you know, gruddy, you know, gritty and grungy and more like iron or dark iron or something like that. But because this is stylized and we're doing metal, it, it we have to do, we have to do like shiny, really good, like polished metal, like steel, like like shining armor kind of stuff, or a, or, a, or, a, or a sword, you know, this kind of material. Very important, very useful, and that's probably why why y'all came here. <laughs> I've been bugged for so long. Gamma, please, just just please, just steel, please. So you know, so okay. This is the material study of steel. Now I've already done a big, huge, in-depth video about polished shiny metal uh like an hour or something long video before and it's 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 real time and it's very very in-depth so if you want a more in-depth study i'd suggest go watching that it's literally in the metal playlist it's probably like the first video uh it's like this shoulder pad looking thing or this elbow thing. i don't know it's a piece of armor so it's pretty cool pretty useful pretty bent and nice this is just gonna be a square like all the other beginning material studies of all these different varieties it's a square uh, or square like structure. So we are going to be using two brushes as per usual, the hard round pressure opacity and the soft round pressure opacity. This brush, these brushes are in every single program. You can't convince me otherwise. They're literally the soft brush and the hard brush. <laughs> That's it. They might be called whatever they are, but they are in every single program. If you don't know what your brush's name is in whatever program you're on, check the comments. Please, everybody, as per usual, if you know what your brush, what the hard round brush is in, say, Procreate or Clip Studio or Cryd or whatever, if you know its name, make, make sure to check the comments down below, please, and like help people out. I know y'all are very helpful and I really appreciate that. So if you're curious, go f feel free to ask and probably someone will help you out as soon as they can. Now, <clears throat> this is in Photoshop, as you know, and we are going to start by making a shape. We do that in very you know, careful terms. We can use the pin tool or whatever, but I like to use the lasso tool. The lasso tool is this little shape up here. It could be lasso or polygonal lasso. That's what we're gonna be using, polygonal lasso tool, because it's just like lines. And this is a square, so lines. Pretty simple stuff. We're gonna start by putting a corner, a little bit up there, but that, a little that, a little that, a little dip down, roughly aligned, and boom. That's our basic shape. Now, go to our brush. Run a new layer here. We're gonna pick a middle kind of color. Now this is steel, uh, more more polished stuff. I'm gonna move this roughly to the middle. So the colors that we're gonna be using are mostly cool. In our iron video we just did, there's a mixture of cool and warm colors because iron has this cool mixture of like you know metal, but like little flakes of rust and stuff in there. It's pretty common. But with the polished metal, we're just gonna be working on like just mostly cool colors. There's less like red, you know, red, warm, orange, yellow. There's less of those colors in the like more fantasy aspect of steel because there's less rust. Uh, steel is very resistant to things like rust, typically, uh, unless you really want to show like age and stuff in like whatever you know scene or scenario you're gonna putting it in. But also because this is more polished than iron it is also more reflective than iron so the colors you've got here are gonna be 
important you know, based around the environment that this piece of metal is in. This is a pretty cool environment, so we're gonna use mostly cool colors. If, for example, though, uh, your piece is in like the desert, you'll want more warm colors, more yellows, oranges, reds, etc. because the environment, the, the sand, the dunes, you know, the sun, most of those are going to be warm colors. But make sure you add at least a little bit of blue in your palette of those desert colors because a huge color is above the sky. <laughs> at least in like, you know, typical terms, our, our sky is blue. So make sure you add blue in your warm colors just for the uh, the upwards reflection. But for ours here, we're gonna now grab our lasso tool. We got our shape, basic, you know, basic shape in. We're gonna be making a new layer, right clicking it and selecting create clipping mask. It's gonna have a little arrow down below. And as most of y'all know, this makes it so everything we paint stays on the layer that it's clipped to. We're going to grab a corner there Kind of line ourselves up along these two corners, you know, bottom corner and top corner, kind of up here, like so. Find that corner, and there we go. Now we're gonna grab our darker blue, or darker color, in fact. And we're just gonna draw that in real quick, just real quick. And you can already start to see the basic like shape we're going for because we've sort of blocked that in. Let's do it again. Grab that corner, find this corner as best you can. Kind of missed that one a bit. There we go. I'm gonna hold down Shift, and that lets me add to the selection. Now we're gonna grab a lighter color. We're gonna paint that in on top. So now we can see a perfect little difference, differentiation, there we go, English is hard, of the light, the middle, and the darker sides of this cube of ours. Now the light source for me comes typically from the top left going this way. So that is why this uh, plane is slightly lighter than this plane because this plane is slightly in the shadow. This plane is slightly in the this plane is the most in light, so that's why it's the brightest. Keep this kind of stuff in mind; it's very important. So, because this is brushed blah, brushed metal, we are going to be doing very kind of broad stuff, uh, but also in a direction. So, kind of like how wood works. Um, let's see here. You'll notice there's 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 these uh, grooves sort of like the grain of the metal. When you're dealing with brushed metal, uh, it is polished in a direction, meaning that the, the blacksmith or whoever was, you know, working on this piece of metal had a, a, a polish or a grinder wheel and files and they went in a direction. And this is pretty typical of, of your, your, your standard blacksmithy type stuff. Now there's still gonna be grooves, there's still gonna be notches, uh, but right now, I'm just kind of trying to show you like the basic uh, gist of how brushed metal. I'm being very gentle right now, by the way. <laughs> very gentle. If it went all hard, it'd be like really dark. We don't need that just yet. Very gentle. I'm just going to put in a couple grooves where necessary, and we're going to add a couple grooves probably with that direction. All right, now, because this is more polished, uh, it is more mirror like. So we can actually use pure white uh, if you were so inclined. Uh, let's, let's start by putting a nice little bright style line right in the corner here just like that now also a little bit up here now we don't want to use too much white we can totally use more very light blue very very good stuff uh because too much white washes everything out, and that is reserved for chrome <laughs> and polished silver and stuff like that. This is just slightly brushed metal, so it's not gonna be too much white. Try your best to keep it as light as possible in the light areas, but not pure white in a lot of spots. So you'll notice how I'm doing a lot of uh, alt or color grabbing, and I'm pressing, I'm holding down alt for Photoshop or, or option if you're on a Mac, and that lets me pick a color, so I'm color picking. So if I color pick white and gently brush it on the blue, it now is no longer white, it is a very light blue. It's just little little, little things like that that'll really help sell the whole situation and it'll really help you blend the colors very well. Now, because we like to do our colors first in giant swaths, uh, there is grass here and this is slightly more polished metal. So there will be uh, a lot of grass reflections. So 
So now let's darken up this a touch. Keep the lighter color near the bottom because of the bounce light hitting the platform. Light comes here, comes down, hits the platform, comes back up. And so the bottom part of our lovely box here is going to be a little lighter than the top area up here. Now, let's add a nice little sheen to it, I think. How's about it? So a sheen with our nice round brushes works like, actually let's do real quick for safety reasons, <laughs> to not ruin the great progress we've done. Let's select off the area we want to add this lovely sheen. So keep our brush a little big, grab the nice bright color, and we're just gonna make a S-like shape. I'm a huge fan of interesting shapes because the rules of stylized work are the rule of cool, don't be boring, and shapes within shapes in whatever order you want to say those in. So we are going to make a little S and we're going to cut into this. Now you can do this as many times as you want, but you find the direction of your sheen. Like say for example, if I want my sheen to be like, like that, say. <laughs> We're going to have a sheen of roughly that direction, but interesting, so like an S. So it's going to start, it's going to end over here. Not necessarily an S, but you know. Interesting. Curved. Curved. Wider near the bottom and the top. Kind of thin near the middle. Keep pushing and pulling until you find one you like and the direction you're going for. Now with our soft brush, we're going to grab the color and very gently add a little bump of that. So full pressure would be that. It's okay for chrome and silver, but with, 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 with something like steel, not so hard. Keep it kind of gentle, okay? I'm not trying to impress anybody here yet. <laughs> Alright, hard brush. And now let's cut a bit more. Let's add a couple grooves the initial first stages of some grooves. Now with perspective, our brushed metal is going to have a grain that's going to align with our top section. So we're not going to be one to one, it's going to be pretty close on a steep, you know, angle like this. There are perspective tools to help if you need them. 
But if you don't need them, that's fine too. So let's deselect. And we have one nice, lovely side. So let's grab this again and we'll do the middle side now. Have a groove kind of line up with those other grooves. balance by making sure the bottom is more light than the top and the top has a solid nice really good let's go with that that's good that's nice maybe a little too dark that's better a nice gradient from dark to light the more you can accentuate this change the more uh, rich your metal will feel so the lighter you can make the bottom and the darker you can make the top for example the more variation in a uh, light you can have the better typically speaking your metal your metal will feel now we can also add a really cool sheen to this but just in case i'm gonna make a new layer create clip clipping mask let's grab our blue let's see what's a good angle for a sheen on the side probably something like that so roughly that direction So let's draw that in, gently erase. Oh, the eraser is soft. Let's go with the hard version. <laughs> gently erase. Try and make it as line-like as possible where it matters. Something like so. And then we get our soft brush. Very gently. Brush that in. If you need to, you can also erase with a soft brush, as I was doing earlier. Try and really make it kind of smooth. Because you don't want this to interfere too much with the rest of it, but you want it to be prominent enough to like really be noticed. Like that, ooh, that's kind of nice. Let's get the other side. We're gonna go back to the original layer, hard brush once again. Now I'm not sure I'm gonna put too much of a sheen on this side because you know, this, shine, this side's not really facing much light, just something to consider. I'm gonna brighten up this corner just a bit, just to a nice good little smidge. going to select inverse and this will keep your lines as crisp as possible this essentially takes the same little cut you did but then it flips it so instead of drawing on this side now it's drawing on the opposite side the exact one-to-one -one perfect opposite side this keeps your selections really really clean and very cool
Alright, let's chop into the sides. We're not doing as much as iron, but we're definitely doing some. I'm just gonna paint on some of the grass in the bottom. Because we do some very shiny things here, make sure the edges are good and pure white. Just the edges, you don't want to overdo it, seriously. Overdoing it is never the option. Now, we are actually going to add a very, very, very slight, very gentle uh, atmospheric to this. Just a, just a super, super gentle one. And this is just to help illustrate. We illustrate, and we do this with a color, by the way, not actual white. Just to help illustrate, very gentle, how reflective this surface is. We do this on a new layer, by the way. We're just going to pop a little bit of soft up there so that we can drop the opacity down. Get your eraser nice and soft. Make it nice and big. Kind of push that back a bit. Just using the edge of the eraser to help thin out that glow. See there? Turn it on and off. Nice glow. Now we can drop the opacity a bit because we don't want a very big glow. We just want a kind of very gentle glow. Maybe a little higher. That's nice. That's pretty good. Very good. Very nice. I like it. All right. Now I'm going to do a little bit of uh, extra credit. Make it fit on the platform a little better. A little atmospherics to it. And then I'll get back to you.
right, there we go. Uh, there will be many, many, <laughs> many videos about metal in this series. There, obviously, there's already like iron. Uh, there's gonna be obviously brushed steel. Then there's gonna be really polished steel, which is almost like uh, mirrors. Uh, this one's a cube, but there will be circular ones, like spheres, to show you what other like bends in metal is in these different types of metal. So there's gonna be a, a sphere of iron and rusty and flaky metal then there's going to be a sphere of like this brushed metal then there's going to be a sphere of really really polished metal uh, then i'm thinking a curved metal surface uh, to help really illustrate how the light tends to work with curves because light and reflections on curved surfaces can get kind of tricky so i want to really dive into that to help people out who are looking to try and make like armor for like arms legs and all that stuff uh, then there's going to be like more common stuff like swords <laughs> you know swords and stuff you know stuff uh and then i'll just slowly start adding more and more stuff to the metal playlist and i really hope you join me in that lovely little adventure i hope this was useful helpful or entertaining leave a like if you liked it a dislike if you dislike it subscribe to see more and thank you so much to my amazing patrons i appreciate the ever loving out of you for supporting the ever loving out of me uh, so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video take care